Hey everyone, this is Derek, and this will just be a quick little video on how to get um, these inequalities entered in XYZ homework. So I think I'm going to start where everyone generally has the problem, which is folks forget to do these two. You get all hung up on worried about this, and you forget to do the two easy ones. So that x greater than or equal to zero, um, all these are going to, they all have equals, so I'm going to be using a solid line each time. Um, where the x's are greater than or equal to zero is going to be to the right of the um, of the y-axis because this is all of our positive x numbers down here. Where the y's are greater than or equal to zero is going to be above the x-axis. So I'll graph horizontal line and now by fixing that, and notice on each of these I'm graphing two points for the line and then I'm graphing a third point to fix the shading. Um, so what that just did was kept, now I'm confined to the first quadrant and I suspect if you're having troubles that's the step you probably didn't do. Um, and then just to finish this out, let me do these other two. I'm going to use intercepts because that's far and away the easiest, it looks like, on this. So here when x is 0, I bet y is going to be 19. And when y is 0, I bet x is going to be 11. And that's a less than, so we're shading on the inside. So right now my answer is confined to that green triangle. Now let's do the second equation. So when x is 0, um, y would be 12. And then when y is 0, x would be 17, I'm betting. Um, and again, shaded on the inside. So um, in the next section, we talk about feasibility regions. So that would be this kind of dark blue section right here. Uh, corner points, 0, 0. Uh, I got one up there at 12, uh, wherever this is, 7, 7 it looks like. And then at 11, 0. And we'll see those corner points in the next section, those end up being really important at 3, 3. 